No, you didn't clean the can. No, why? Come, I'll show you why. Today, in a Nagar plate experiment, we'll see why it's important to clean our cans. We'll use four different cans bought from the same store and we'll need pieces of paper, water, ethanol, remember to wear gloves given that it's flammable and irritating, cotton swabs, and the agar plates prepared beforehand. Let's go! Under the fume hood, we take a swab, clean the can, and then slide it in a zigzag motion across the agar plate. We repeat for each sample, label them, and incubate at 28 Celsius degrees for 48 hours. Here are our results. Bacterial colonies vary depending on how clean the cans were. In the uncleaned cans, we observed Staphylococcus, Bacillus, Micrococcus luteus, and other microorganisms commonly found in dust, skin, or organic residues. Important, morphology suggests but does not confirm. Identification requires microscopy, staining, or other tests, and many microorganisms are harmless or even useful. Observing them helps us understand why hygiene matters. Here are some safety and hygiene tips. Firstly, at home, use soap and water or regular cleaners. Secondly, avoid using high concentration ethanol without training. And lastly, in the lab, use ethanol only with proper protocol, ventilation, and away from heat. Well, now I know I have to clean my cans. <laughs>